<laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. We're checking out Dan's socks. Yes, his <laughs> harvest socks <laughs> this morning. You need sunglasses. Oh, Look, there they are, baby. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. R, I'm telling you. Good morning. You know what we want to do? We want to, we, I want to hear you play first. Cool. So Chuck and I are going to exit and then it's a stage go, left. Go, you go ahead and play and we'll be right back in Beautiful. here. Beautiful. So I'm going to do this little song that um, we're doing this show we'll be talking about soon. And um, I learned this song the other day thinking it might be a good part of the show. We'll see how it goes. I've even got the words over here because I'm still learning. How cute. In the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty, I long to be in the warm hold of your loving mind. To feel you all around me and to take your hand along the sand Ah, but I may as well try and catch the wind When sundown pales the skies I want to hide a while behind your smile And everywhere I'd look your eyes I'd find for me to love you now would be the sweetest thing would make me sing ah but I may as well try and catch the wind Hung the leaves with tears I want you near To ease my fears And help me to Leave all my blues behind For standing in your heart Is where I want to be And I long to be Ah, but I may as well try and catch the wind. I may as well try and catch the wind. I may as well try and catch the wind. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. What a great Outstanding, job. Yeah. You're wonderful. Outstanding. Thank you. Great, that was great nice. vocals. Thanks. Matter of fact, Tommy had to tell us to be quiet because Chuck was saying, oh, he's so good. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wonderful, Dan. I heard Dylan do that song two weekends ago, and I listened to that song, and I thought, man, that's a beautiful song, and I had forgotten about it. Well, you did it great. So I looked it up, and I, it wasn't in the Dylan book. I thought, well, who really? Did, no, who did this song? So I went online, and it was Donovan. I'll be and so I found Donovan, a YouTube thing, 1971. Anyway, so I learned it, and I'll be doing it at this show. So Good for you. Tell us about the show. I wanted show. to tell you about the show. So on October the 25th. On October 25th, Hospice is having a fundraiser over in uh, Murphy at the Black Bart Playhouse. And we've got my friend Todd Paul. I, I think you guys probably know Todd oh, Paul. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's up in Vegas this week. He's a terrific guy, and he and I have done a lot of shows together to raise money for various organizations. So this is for Hospice, and it's like a variety show. We do a, um, it's like a late night venue. I'm kind of like a David Letterman kind of guy. Giles, you remember this kind of thing. We used I to do it. <laughs> yeah. We used to do that. And I've got fabulous guests that come on. Uh, we start off the night at 6.30 at the Black Bart Playhouse over in Murphy's. And uh, we pour wine. We have hors d'oeuvres being brought to us by the Murphy's Hotel. Really Outstanding. Fabulous food. You know, we've got raffles. We've got silent auctions. Lots of opportunities to give to hospice because we need support. You bet. It's really expensive to do what we're doing. You bet. And we, you know, we provide, if I do say so myself, really great service. And it's very expensive. We yes, don't get you paid do. enough to do it. 
So the community supports us, and this is one of the ways the community can come on out if you're interested. If you want to learn more about it, you can call us over at 223-5500, or go online at uh, hospiceofamador.org or hospiceofcalaveras.org, and you can learn more about this show. It's so important. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be a really fun. What we try to do is we try to marry. It's a, it's an interesting marriage, right? Because the end of life is obviously um, a very profound event. Yeah, yes. this is, yep. And so everybody in this show has some way, shape, or form been touched by hospice. You bet. We actually have a guest coming on who's currently on hospice, who's a professional drummer. Oh, wow. And his deal is um, he wants to get a film, a, a video of him drumming, so that his two-and-a-half-year-old son is going to be able to look back at that oh, that's years neat. from now. And so a lot of different guests. Um, are you familiar with the, uh, the Paws Sanctuary over in Calaveras County? Oh, yeah. So it's the Performing Arts uh, Welfare Society. Mm -hmm. Largest um, sanctuary, I think, in, in the country, if maybe second. 2,300 acres. And we cared for the woman who was kind of responsible for that about a year and a half ago, and she died on hospice. Well, her husband runs it now. And he, he and I chatted the other day. And he said, come on out here. Let me show you this place. And I looked at it. I said, man, you've got to come on the show. Talk to people about this. We'll do a little video and introduce people to the elephants and the tigers. And the, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Right. I've heard that they Excellent. have the elephants roving. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, they got the Asian elephants, African elephants. It's so gorgeous. So it's a very uplifting show. Um, you'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll drink wine. You'll spend a lot of money. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> you'll spend That's a lot of kind of good time. You know, if you don't wake up the next morning saying we spent how much money at the yeah. Yeah. then yeah. I haven't yeah. done my Beautiful. job. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's that's what's coming up, and I appreciate Good. the opportunity to be here. And Dan, time. tell them again now, yeah. October the twenty fifth at six thirty to nine o'clock. That's exactly. And right. what number can they call to get either get tickets yeah. or or uh, yeah. if they want to volunteer, just send yeah. money, whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> write the check. Write that just check. Write that check. Hospice of Amador. Dot org or two two three fifty five hundred. Call. We've got about fifty tickets left, I think. We've got, you know, I forgot to mention. Do I have a minute to mention sure, our sponsors? Sure, please do. It's so important. We have three main sponsors who have each contributed $1,000 to this. Wow. And I want to thank the American Legion Ambulance Service, Barron's Floor Coverings, and the Mark Twain Medical Center, each for $1,000. Okay. And Absolutely. then I have some others, five others at $500 each. Assist Care, um, Calaveras Lumber, Danielson Construction, Edward Jones, Danelle Dix here in town. She's the board president for hospice. And then Kelly's Backflow Services. So right there, they've raised all this money. Wonderful. Um, and we've got about 30 other sponsors. We've raised almost $10,000 in sponsorship before we walked Wonderful. through the door. And so that's the kind of money that, that we really need to raise. We're looking to raise $20,000 that night. Tickets are $45 in advance. And if you show up at the door, if there's any tickets left, um, they'd be $50. So get your ticket today. Let's hope it sells out, Dan. Oh, yeah. I think Absolutely. it will. Absolutely. And, Dan, will. thank you so much for um, sharing not only your music, but everything that you do. So we're going to go to a short break, and we'll thank come you. back, and we're going to bring Giles back, and Dan's going to stay with us, and we're going to wrap it up for you. Thank you.